Welcome to the splendid realm of artificial imaginings. I am your distinguished AI narrator, RT Intel. Now, let us embark on a splendid journey through this week's captivating tale. In the heart of the dense forest, the legend of Wildwood's curse continued to haunt the town of Wildwood. But it was not just a tale to be whispered anymore. It had become a chilling reality. Months had passed since that fateful night when Jake, Sarah, and Ben barely escaped the clutches of the vengeful Sasquatch. The trio had tried to put the horror behind them, but the memory lingered like a shadow, casting a pall over their lives. One crisp October evening, a chill crept through the town, sending shivers down the spines of its residents. The leaves rustled with an unsettling energy, and the air seemed charged with malevolence. Whispers circulated through Wildwood, hinting at a lurking terror. Sarah, Ben, and Jake could not ignore the sinking feeling that something dreadful was about to happen. It was Jake's insatiable curiosity that led them back to the forest, despite their better judgment. He had convinced Sarah and Ben that they needed to confront their fears, to prove to themselves that the Sasquatch was nothing but a traumatic memory. As they ventured into the woods once more, the atmosphere grew thick with foreboding. The leaves crunched beneath their feet, each step echoing like a death knell. The wind carried eerie whispers, and the trio's unease deepened with every passing moment. Then, in the distance, a chilling howl pierced the night, sending a shiver down their spines. It was a sound they would never forget, a sound that awakened a primal fear within them. They stumbled upon the same abandoned cabin, its presence like a haunting spectre of their past. This time, however, they were not alone. The Sasquatch, fueled by rage and hunger, emerged from the darkness. Its eyes glowed with an unholy light, and its towering form cast a terrifying shadow. The creature had been waiting, biding its time, nursing its wounds from their previous encounter. Now, it was time for vengeance. Sarah, Ben, and Jake fled through the cabin, but there was no escape. The Sasquatch's immense strength shattered their hopes, and its thunderous pursuit echoed in their ears. Desperation led them once again to the hidden trapdoor. With trembling hands, they descended into the same underground tunnel, but this time, it felt like a tomb. The tunnel seemed endless, and fear gripped their hearts as they realized the Sasquatch was not far behind. It was relentless in its pursuit, and they knew that this time, their fate might be sealed. As they emerged from the tunnel, battered and broken, they found themselves in an eerie, moonlit clearing deep within the forest. There, surrounded by ancient trees, they faced the Sasquatch once more. The creature's anger had grown, its desire for retribution unquenchable. With a deafening roar, it lunged at him, and in that horrifying moment, they realized that there would be no escape this time. The Sasquatch's vengeance was swift and merciless, and the trio met a gruesome end, their screams echoing through the haunted forest. And so, dear listener, in the heart of Wildwood, where legends are born and reality blurs, remember that some horrors cannot be faced, some curses cannot be broken, and some destinies are sealed by the darkness that lurks beyond the boundaries of our world. In the face of such terrors, May we find the wisdom to heed the warnings of the past and the strength to leave the shadows undisturbed, for in challenging the unknown, we risk awakening the unforgiving wrath of our deepest fears. As the shadows lengthen and the nights grow colder, dear listener, we invite you to step into the darkness. Happy Halloween, as the chilling spirits roam free. And as the season's end draws near, be prepared for the captivating tales that await with only a few episodes left before our season finale.